Memoirs of an Edwardian Adventuress by Charlotte E. Pollard. Chapter One. You travel in time and space. You fight injustice and stuff. Uh, indeed, I fight injustice and stuff. You have courage and integrity. You fight evil fiercely, but are capable of mercy. To save a universe, you chose permanent exile from everything you knew at the cost of one of your senses. I'm the doctor, by the way. Excuse me. Would you mind stopping? And、uh, we can maybe have a chat about what you're trying to achieve and how you might go about that without treading on people's cars. You might just be the oddest man I've ever met. I don't think you're cut out to be the masters of time. You underestimate the Daleks. You mean the whole world is covered in metal and ruled by the Daleks? Don't knock you out of the dark. Where do I find Davos? Doctor. First, you will suffer slowly. Then, the go. Charlie, close your eyes. Stop hurting him. Are you ready to begin? Begin what, Masala? Why the great task for which you were created? Come on, don't be shy. Step forward, Celestial Intervention Agency Coordinator Savant Salos the Fossiers. Charlotte Elspeth Pollard, human, born Hampshire, England, on the 14th of April 1912, died Bior Bais, France. Beauvais. Beauvais. Thank you. I found you, Charlie, a companion who was already dead. What an intriguing anomaly. Harm one hair on her head in Malice Lancer. Hound you to the end of reality. I'm sorry it has to end like this. You're my friend, and I love you. Gallifrey, oh Gallifrey, the forests are cracked and dead. I am become the Greyus. The Greyus sits inside your head. The Greyus lives among the dead. The Greyus sees you in your bed and eats you when you're sleeping. Terrible things happen by accident, but great things too. I mean, you know exactly. If that creature is stopped, it will consume this world, the next, and quite possibly the universe itself. I knew I wanted more than just death. I wanted to break you, Doctor. Don't, Charlie. Don't what? Don't tell me you forgive me. Don't tell me I shouldn't feel bad. Don't tell me you love me. Don't say anything. You silly little girl. Do you think I want you here? If I'm going to die, I want to die alone. I didn't expect to care for you as much as I did. You thought I was going to die. Yes. Tell me, Charlie, what good do you think your love will do me? I don't know. Do you think it makes this situation any better? Do you think it makes me feel any better? I don't know. I don't want your love, Charlie. I have no use for it. You told me you loved me. Of course I loved you. I killed myself for you, didn't I? Of course I loved you. Of course I love you.